Students have complained about cockroaches in classrooms, stairwells, and hallways. One student said that this has disturbed the learning environment. Last semester specifically for physics lab, we kind of all noticed it in the lab and it kind of made us like really, really uncomfortable. And we kind of named it just to make ourselves a little bit more comfortable with it, just because it was like kind of disgusting us and we really didn't want to be in there. Sean Giblin, the Assistant Director of Environmental and Occupational Health and Safety, said the EOHS office handles pest complaints and that YSU has an exterminator come bi-weekly. We have um, a contractor who comes every two weeks and will specifically, if there's certain um, you know, nuisances or, or pests, uh, something new that comes up, they will go and treat that specific area. Giblin said the concern about cockroaches is most likely coming from tunnels under Ward Beecher that are currently being treated. They use a, a granulated bait. It's a, it's a Bayer product. Um, it's called Max Force Complete and that is applied at the source where they're breeding. Um, and those, that is in the steam tunnels that connect to downtown. So the contractor, the technician that comes on site, he will enter those access points and apply that, you know, spread that bait. John Hyden, Assistant Vice President of Facilities Maintenance, said changes in downtown are likely to affect pests at YSU. When you disturb their homes, um, they'll, they'll start running around looking for another place to go. So even if they just have a major demolition downtown, we're liable to find we're liable to find a, an uptick in our pests on campus. Chiplin said cockroaches found in Beecher are most likely already dead from the bait that has been laid out, but anyone can submit pest sightings to the EOH office located on the second floor of Cushwa through phone, by email, or in person. For Jambar TV, I'm Cheyenne Gibbons.